2014 marks Swiftsure's 71st international yacht race, and although lots of us have seen it from shore, not many of us actually get to go on these racing sailing boats, except for me, right now, today. This is the Fiasco, an Olsen 30 ultra lightweight boat built in 1979, and it's been in AJ's hands since last January. Unfortunately, then I went off to Afghanistan for most of that year, so it didn't give me too much opportunity to uh, get used to the sailing the boat. Most of the crew on the Fiasco are military members or retired military members. What's great about the military is you can beast them and they just keep going. Right? And they're very good at working as a team. Well, Alan, not so much. <laughs> Fiasco sails in Swiftsure this Saturday, and the race starts down at Clover Point. We've got Clover Point right there. So just in from Clover Point is going to be one end of the start line. And then a few hundred yards over here is going to be a, a Navy ship, which is the committee boat. And then there's going to be 100 plus boats all getting lined up, ready to start. Being on the start line with 100 boats doesn't just take skill, it also takes a certain amount of guts. We're very friendly. It's a very uh, sportsman-like event. Yeah, and you like to point out if they're, if they're dragging a line in the water, you point it out to them just to, you know, give, give them a rib. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. In fact, the start, I think, is the most exciting bit. Jockeying for the best possible position. Right? Not that I've mastered that, but... Uh, some have, and they're very good at it, yeah. <laughs> and just how long does it take to sail 78 nautical miles? Oh, that's, that's the big mystery. It really depends on the wind. If you can do it 16 hours, that'd be wonderful, but it could take 24. Actual sailing, if just out sailing, it's very easy and pleasant, like we're doing today, right? If you're racing, then it becomes a little more uh, competitive. For a first-time sailor, Robin Byshinsky Powell, it's not so much about the race as it is the community. I love the water, but it's more the people and kind of the interaction with it and just hanging out and there's so much to learn. Everybody's really open to trying to help you through the process and kind of help you, you know, improve as a sailor and uh, give you advice along the way. Robin started on the boat in November. And I was a rail meet, so I'd sit on the edge of the, the boat because they need extra weight in the beginning and then they quickly put me to work. <laughs> no doubt about it, there's something freeing about sailing on the open ocean. Oh, it's just a lot of fun. See the world from a different point of view. It's, been, it's kind of like going hiking in a way. You get on the mountains, you get away from everything. Here you get away from it as well. From off the Victoria coast, I'm Meg Cuthbert.